G'day, I'm James, and today I'm talking about nitrogen on pastures. Nitrogen fertiliser is a very useful management tool that you can use to manipulate pasture growth as to when additional feed is needed. We should be applying nitrogen strategically rather than a fixed rate across the whole farm. So when talking nitrogen, we should remember our four R's, as they are very relevant when it comes to nitrogen on pastures. The four R's are right place, right rate, right time and right source. Let's start with the right place. We need to apply nitrogen to pastures that have a desirable species and with good density. Spray out broadleaf weeds and make sure you have good ground cover. Cape weed and some other broadleaf weeds increase the risk of nitrate poisoning. Ideally, work on 1,000 to 1,200 kilograms of dry matter per hectare. Too much and we'll get the shading effect, too little and we don't have enough leaf area. Gaps and bare ground result in poor utilisation and a greater chance of losses. We also need to make sure we have good soil nutrients. The pastures will only grow to their most limiting factors. Avoid applying nitrogen to animal hotspots like gateways, water troughs and stock camps. The right rate. Your most efficient pasture growth responses occur when nitrogen fertilisers are applied between 25 to 55 kilos of nitrogen a hectare. So that's between 55 and 130 kilos a hectare of urea and around 60 to 140 litres a hectare of EZN. Be mindful when using EZN at higher rates with leaf burn. Streaming nozzles and time of spraying should be accounted for. Choose the rate that best suits the paddock and the paddock history. Right time. Now the right time covers a number of things. Pastures need to be acti actively growing. Apply nitrogen as soon as possible after grazing. This is when plants need access to nitrogen for maximum regrowth potential. As a rule, every day you delay nitrogen post grazing, you can lose 1% of the potential nitrogen response. Make sure you have good soil moisture, at least 50 millimetres. Do not apply when the soil profile is saturated and if water is going to run off the soil surface. This increases your risk of leaching, runoff and denitrification to occur. Plus, you need to make sure you have a good chance of rain within 48 hours of application. This one may be hard, but try to work on applying nitrogen when soil temperatures are greater than 10 degrees. From this, we can estimate the profitability of using nitrogen at the right time. So what is our response to nitrogen? Let's say in late autumn, early winter, we should receive eight to 15 kilograms of dry matter per kilo of nitrogen. So that's for every one unit of nitrogen applied, we should receive somewhere between eight to 15 kilograms of dry matter. So if we go halfway between that dry matter range and work on 12 kilograms of dry matter per unit of N. Let's work on a urea delivered price at around $530 a tonne and a spreading price of $10 a hectare. That works out a cost of 12 cents per kilogram of dry matter and only working on 60% utilisation of the pasture, we come out at 17 cents per megajoule of energy. If we compare that to supplementary feeding barley at a delivered price of $230 a tonne, it works out to be 32 cents per kilogram of dry matter and 29 cents per megajoule of energy. That's a difference of greater than 160% in cents per kilogram of dry matter and 70% more expensive than barley when comparing ME, megajoules of energy. The final R is the right source. When it comes to nitrogen, there are a number of different sources. If you're just chasing straight nitrogen, you can use urea or EZN. If phosphorus is limiting slightly, you have the option of DAP, diammonium phosphate. And if sulphur is limiting, GranAm, ammonium sulphate can be used. And of course, products can be blended to suit requirements. All the best for the coming season. Thanks for watching.